Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of The Devil in Me. This is part nine. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I would say our characters definitely got themselves into some kind of trouble here. What is that? Who says self-help books don't work? Oh, okay. That's the book they threw earlier. Come on, let's get through this. Hello? Can you hear me? What is that? Man, that's a person, but is it really a person? Or is it one of those automatic chronic things that he's been using against us. In case you missed me, Michelle. Morning. Writing 8 a.m. requested to use the library or the music lounge to assume I'm in one of those. Lunch slash family time, 2 p.m. Can we dine outside in the garden? 5 p.m. The bar seems like a good writing spot. Now the half of the page is tore off. What's this? Oh, that's the other half of the page. The Beast of Arkansas. By Joseph Morello. That uh, wasn't Dumet on the ferry. Was not Dumet, and now we know the guy's name. This is getting interesting. But I, uh, let's see, hang on. I want to go back to that page that I accidentally just hit. But honestly, I was glad to be leaving. They'd be nice folks. The steward's real nice. Both in their 70s now. Dad's so strong as an ox. Has been a military man before moving to the town to settle and start a family. Mom was starting to get a little frail. So is this like this guy's journal, I think? We talked a lot, he's talking about anything. Huh. I don't know. I don't really know what to make of this note. This bald headed bastard. Alright, let's go. I don't think that was in there. I just said that. <laughs> He's the reason why we're in here dying. You know, I want to point something out though. I've uh, played a lot of games recently and tried to see myself in the mirror. Actually, I was on Warzone. And you cannot see yourself in the mirror on Warzone. And I love how this game implemented that. 
That's so cool. Okay, we already checked that. I don't know what I'm doing. Little baby doll. Bethany. Nothing on it, though, besides the name. So this must have been another family, I would think. Please stop crying, Mommy. Beast Body Burglar. Arkansas this week, the body of so-called Beast of Arkansas has been removed from its grave by suspected body snatchers. The infamous serial killer, whose real name is Manny Sherman, was executed executed earlier this month and his remains were buried at the undisclosed cemetery in Springdale. Okay, so they were fans of the killer. It kind of makes me think maybe our killer is fans. Huh. It's going to be locked, I would assume. We're going to need some kind of code here. Focus. Okay, let's see. Uh... That either a 1999 or 799. Okay. I think we finally got it. Let's go. It's a fake. Oh my god! Knew he was still alive. <coughs> he survived the furnace, but will we keep him alive to survive anything else? Maybe, maybe not. No, no. Oh, the music's so good right now. Is 
It's so dark in here, I don't have a light or anything. It's a fake. We can check it out. See what that is. No, okay. They never hurt anyone. <laughs> Just leave them alone. We'll do whatever you want. That's so weird. Okay, I gotta see what the first one says. Please! Please! I'll do anything! <laughs> okay. That was definitely interesting. This guy is such a weirdo. His fascination with the body and killing. <laughs> it says do not get on there. But I think that's the way we got to go, so let's do it. You know, Charlie's been through it already. Oh my god. Oh, that was Charlie's bag. Charlie definitely have a second life after this. Oh my god, if he survives.
shit. It's me. Get in here. <sighs> Thank God. What the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Thank God these two are together again. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. Have you seen Mark? No. I've seen Dumet, though. He's creeping around. Oh my god. Jesus. What is all of this? He's got video feeds. Recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured thing. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on it. Take a look at this. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup? There was no groundskeeper. But we saw a guy in a yellow jacket with her stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. Crazy nah. implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe. Chicago police. Mr. Monday, this is Chicago Police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street, requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, there we go. Bad parenting can definitely be a factor, but... I mean, it could be a shitty dad just as much, or an uncle, any adult figure, really. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. That, uh, this control room is just insane. Oh, look at some of the art drawings. You even got color patches to match. Coloring. What is this? Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from Twilight Prairie Carol. I tried to call you a couple of times. We, um, I, I understand that you're making voice recordings of your mother. the other residents who 
are disturbed, disturbed by the volume and the content of the recordings, and also some of the language used. We would like to ask that these recordings stop with immediate effect. Please do call me if you want to discuss this further. Thanks. Wow, recording his own mother. Probably killed her too. Look at this. It's all his little tricks and moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. All right. What's your plan? Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. Um... <laughs> you should take it. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh. 